This video demonstrates how to create two datasheet forms, that is, forms that display the data in the form of a datasheet. The first form is for the client table and is also called client. The second is for the trainer table and is also called trainer. The steps also create macros that will display the data for a selected record in a single item form as you did in chapter 9 on pages AC 566 through AC 568. Select the client table. Click the Create tab. Click the Datasheet button to create a datasheet form for the client table. Click the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Click OK to accept client as the default name of the form. Click the column heading for the ID field to select the field. Display the property sheet and click Event to display only the event properties. Click the Build button for the on-click event and then use the techniques on pages AC 559 through AC 563 in Chapter 9 to enter the macro shown. Click the Save button to save the macro. Click the Close button to close the macro. Close the property sheet. Close the form. Click Yes to save the changes. Select a trainer table. Click the Create tab. Click the Daysheet button to create a Daysheet form for the trainer table. Click the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Click OK to accept trainer as the default name of the form. Click the column heading for the ID field to select the field. Display the property sheet and click Event to display only the event properties. Click the Build button for the on-click event and then use the techniques on pages AC 559 through AC 563 in Chapter 9 to enter the macro shown.
Click the Save button to save the macro. Click the Close button to close the macro. Close the property sheet. Close the form. Click Yes to save the changes. Select the Client Trainer Query. Create a datasheet form for the Client Trainer Query. Save the form using the Client Trainer Query as the form name. Close the Client Trainer Query.